Okay, today I'm going to be draw teaching you how to draw Gengar, one of my favorite Pokemon. You can leave a request in the comment section below which ones you want me to draw the next. First we're going to start off with a circle, like so. Or egg shape. Now we're going to add two sharp triangles. And then two rounded off squares. We're going to have them skinner at the top and wider as you get to close to the body. Now we're going to add a circle right here. This is going to be his leg. And then half of a circle right here. Like so. And we're going to draw a straight line right here on the bottom. So after you draw a straight line, curve it. That's going to be his tail. So I'm going to go ahead and darken this part of his body. Since I'm going to want to keep that later. And since we're already here at his feet, draw three triangles, kind of like a crown together, and then curve off this one to the side. Make this one a little bit bigger. And in the circle, we're going to take off some of it. Bring it closer to his feet. Curve it in, like so. I'll darken the slide a little bit. Now we're going to come over to this foot. And you're going to do the same thing. Draw three triangles, have them connected. And then darken the outer portions. And keep this a little fatter. Because it's small, small for his hands. We're going to do the exact same thing we did with his feet. I'm going to add in a claw right here. I'm just going to simply add it. Another triangle. And I'm going to have this one pointed down somewhat. And I'm going to do the exact same on this side. Oh, that was a little too fat. I just will pull it up. Now I'm going to darken this line. And I think I'm going to do this one too. It still has that egg shaped body. And you want to keep that for the final product. Now we're going to come to, to the top. And we're going to draw four triangles. Alright, now your first one is the largest one that you want to draw. Then the, the other three are different sizes and you want to make them significantly smaller than your first one. And I suggest making the fourth one the tiniest one. Like so. You could play around with it. All Pokemon aren't exactly like so you have like two Gengars and they look like Gengar but they have different hairs. I'm going to even out his ears a bit. Are these ears? Okay, now we're going to go to his face. Now, Gengar's face is very simple. He also has that mean look, so we're going to have two straight lines. But not like up and down. Put them at like an angle. And we're going to give them um, semicircle for eyes. 
Now we give him that little angry look that he's known for. And then just two little simple slits for his eyes. Now we're going to give him a smile as if he's going to be like a smiley face. And most people do it with the teeth. I'm going to do my little different. So I'm going to come down, continue with the crescent moon shape that it actually is. We turn the paper to the side, you, you can see. And I'm going to draw a second line. That will be indicate his teeth. Then I'm going to draw two triangles to his teeth. Give him like a vampire's look. Then I'm gonna add in his tongue. Somebody was probably like, King Car doesn't have a mouth like that. Too bad, it's my drawing. I'm gonna come up with my lines. So now I'm going to ink this over and color it. 